Hey guys, it's Babo, the self-driver here, and as you know, on this channel, I don't do most of the driving of the cars, because I mostly just review self-driving cars. But today, I'm going to be doing the driving. Now coming around to the side of the car, you can see there's not this big mass of sensors taking up the whole roof. Now this personally takes away some of the enjoyment and excitement of riding in the car because I don't have that, that rush as the car approaches a low hanging branch and I have to wonder, is this, is this branch going to remove my super expensive sensor hub? One advantage, however, of having no sensors on the roof, it's left room for a sunroof. I can feel my tan already. Interestingly, this car is sold, it has exhaust. That means this car runs off gasoline and not electric power. Now that's something you don't normally see on cars these days because they've all gone over to electrics and hybrids and all that kind of stuff. You know, you don't generally see these big meaty exhausts. And let's start her up and see how she sounds. Now coming around to the engine bay, you can see it's not a whole lot of complicated parts. You've got the drive components, you've got the brakes, air intakes, and all the other stuff, including cooling systems and battery. Now, the interesting thing about these cars is you control the throttle yourself with little cable right here. You press the pedal and it pulls this little cable right here. Now maybe one of the quirkiest features of this car is it has a manual transmission. Now you don't see a whole lot of these anymore because you have to do all the work yourself. And nobody wants to fly through gears. I mean, come on, how is that fun in any way at all? To get a manual transmission car moving, you gotta give dynamic input on the clutch pedal and the gas pedal. Clutch being this metal one right here and gas on the right as usual. The clutch pedal goes in just like this and back out. Now you can only select gears while the clutch is in. Then you can start moving through them. One, two, three, four, and five, all of them. Now let's get out on the road and take this baby for a ride. Or should I say drive? <laughs> now it's really weird holding this circular object in my hands. You know, I'm used to holding on to some nice literature while I'm in the car, you know. Woo! The main thing is speed. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to go over the speed limit because that's illegal. And you know, we don't do illegal things on this channel. But, you know, it, it's really hard because I hear those revs and you know, it's, it's loud, it's nice, it makes me feel powerful. But, you know, it just, it wants to go faster. You know, I'm at 30 and then I look over and it's 40, 50, you know, it just, it just never ends, it never ends. Now, I wish I could say that I could keep my hands in my lap and not do anything, but if I do that, I'm gonna go off the road. So, that's one thing that really irks me with these needing a driver cars. I don't know what you classify them as. You know, a lot of people these days, they can barely drive an automatic. Luckily, with the self-driving cars, you know, it doesn't leave it up to them, you know? It, it's all to the machine, it's all, all automated, it's all prescribed for you. I call it prescription driving because you're doing none of the work. It's just the car, you know, giving you what you need, getting you where you need to go. Oh, cover. Drive, good, drive, good. That's an important thing when buying a self-driving car because I don't have to worry about cops. If I get pulled over, he's arresting the car, not me. Ah. Now in this manual transmission car, you know, I, I just feel like I can't be bothered, you know? I have to put my less, push my left foot in, take it out of gear, get ready with the gas, put it back into gear, and then take my left foot off slowly. And you know, it's doing all this stuff. By the time I get where I need to go, you know, I feel like I just worked a shift at, you know, like Arby's or something, like, dude. Now, when I, when I introduced my 
self-driving car to, uh, to a lot of people, you know, they always say I'm lazy, you know, I don't know if it's just the generational thing, but I've yet to hear that word, and, you know, I'm imagining it's some sort of, like, kooky, wacky, you know, eccentric thing, you know, I really like that compliment, how people, you know, really, really, uh, recognize me for my bold decision in what I'm driving. Self-driving cars have really taught me not to trust people. And you know, because they do not know what they're doing. The machine does. The machine always knows. The machine is always right. Listen to the machine. Go, do not, do not do your own thing. Go with the flow. As long as everybody is moving at the same pace, in the same direction, or wherever they need to go, then there's no problems. Now that concludes our drive for today. You know, I'd like to say I had a good time with this car, but honestly, it was subpar. I think I'll stick to my books. <laughs> if you want to see more of my videos, go to theselfdriver.com. See you later.